Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video for Wizard101. So today I'm going to be going over my level 140 Storm character's gear setup and what he has on him currently. So we're going to go over all his stats, all the goodies, uh, since we have finished his gear and we have been farming like crazy to get all these gears for pretty much all my wizards. We're going to be going over my other characters as well. Uh, so look out for those videos, uh, they'll be in my channel shortly, and within a few days from this one you'll be seeing all the others, so look forward to that. Uh, but the first wizard we're going to go over is Chris Thundercloud here, uh, my storm wizard. So he's level 140, uh, he has 6.3k health, 365 mana, we don't really need to talk about mana, that's not really important. Or crowns, crowns, that's not important too. Just ignore that. Alright, so damage, 187 damage, uh, 29 universal resist, 40 accuracy, so I never fizzle, uh, 741 crit. Uh, you can uh, get higher crit and stuff, of course, but with the new meta, the new gear crit is not really as important as it used to be, especially with the newest update where critical changes so he's at 741 uh, I would suggest to uh, fear storm wizard to keep this at least above 700 because you know storm is supposed to be a critical school uh, more than any other school so it just makes sense to have this school with the most crit out of all the others block not really as important either we don't I mean you don't really see blocking anymore so it's just uh, above 100 uh, armor pierce, this could be higher if I had more pierce jewels, but I need a farm for more pierce jewels still, so. But it's at 17 right now. Uh, I do plan on getting rid of some of my crit jewels and replacing them with some more pierce jewels so you get higher pierce, which I can in the future. So, yeah, this is going to change in the future, but for now, uh, for this video, it is 17. Uh, pip conversion, 655. Power pips right on 100. And Shadow Pip is 121. For his gear, for his hat, we're wearing the Dragoon Shocking Helm, which is still the best gear for level 140, and especially with the set bonus applied. Uh, for robe, you still got the Malister robe. The Mali robe is still the best robe for Storm for level 140. Uh, there has been really any updates to Storm and robes. Uh, Tennyson robe is worse. Rattlebones robe is worse, so Malastare robe is still the best robe. <laughs> All the way from like level 100, this robe is still kicking butt. Uh, for boots, we got the Dragoon Shocking Boots. Uh, great boots, gives great resistance for Storm, and overall just great in general. Uh, we're using these boots for the set bonus, of course, uh, and also they just have great stats. Uh, you also get the spells, the potent, and the a sharpened spell from that. Uh, for the wand, we're using Fossil Warriors Skull Crusher. We're using this wand mainly for the set bonus for the Fossil Warrior set, uh, which applies. Let me look here. So it applies 6% more storm damage, which is the reason why we have it on. And you can also use this for life to get the 4% life damage as well, but we're using it for our storm. We also have this for our life, but we'll get to that on that video. Um, for other wands that I could possibly wear is Sky Captain Sporting Hook. We still have this wand, but the as you guys can see, uh, these fossil warriors gives 1% more damage. It doesn't give as much pierce, but for more if I want more critical and pierce I can use this one still um, For Athams, we're using Aphrodite's storm of thorns still a really good Atham We have a pierce jewel on there. We can replace that extra crit jewel that's on there with another pierce as well to get even more which we'll probably do later some other time, but not right now. Uh, we also have Blade of, Fel uh, Blade of Shadow Palace as well here with two Pierce Jewels. Um, and also we got the Dragon's Talon of Tumult that we could switch from, but we're using Aphrodite's because it gives extra damage for the set. 
For the amulet, we have the Dragoon Shocking Charm. Mainly for the step bonus, uh, you guys can probably use the um, Caramel Amulet. Uh, I don't think I have the... Oh, I do. So you could use this amulet. Um, it gives 1% more resistance and it also gives you some blades. Uh, currently, I don't have any sockets or anything added to it and I don't feel the need to use it. But I do have it for some reason. Um, if I ever want to switch, I guess I can use that instead for more resistance. Uh, for ring, big game changer, level 140, uh, level 138 uh, caramel rings uh, for the level 140 setups. We're using director's insulator, insulated rings. Now you can use the executive uh, ring, the caramel ring. It gives 1% more damage than this one does, but it doesn't give you the circle socket like this one does. So you can add a pierce stool. So I have added a pierce stool onto this one to get even more pierce. Uh, this is the best uh, caramel or best ring slot in my opinion for rings. For any school out there, so we we're going to be using caramel rings in all my setups. We also have dragoon, uh, the dragoon shocking ring for crit, um, but uh, um, the caramel rings are better than the dragoon ring, so that's why we're using the dragoon amulet for the set bonus instead of the rings now. So now we're using the caramel ring um, for pet. This is a must for hitting schools. Uh, having a frillosaur. For the Fossil Warrior set bonus, that's where we get some extra damage for the set bonus. And also, uh, you get massive damage. So this is a Quint pet. Uh, we also have a Storm Assailant on there. Um, if it got to me another uh, critical talent, I probably would have trashed this pet. But this pet is alright. It's mega. I don't feel the need to cra uh, make another pet. It's at 253 strength. So... Yeah, it doesn't have that 10% dealer, but I mean, that's just 1%. I would be at 188 right now if it was a 10% dealer. And if it was a Quint pet, so Quint pet with Mega, not Meta, <laughs> Mighty. So if it was a Quint damage pet with Mighty, uh, your storm damage with this current setup will be probably around 192, somewhere around there. I think it's 192, I could be wrong. But it's definitely above 190 if this pet is to be a Quint pet with Mighty. It will be 192, I believe. Um, for mounts, we're using Stone Culture mount since we have the set bonus with this pet here. Um, this pet's a, a must if you want to get that extra damage and with the Storm Gulcher for the 3% extra damage. And for deck, of course, we're still using the Stormy Paradox deck. I haven't felt any need to change this deck to the any of the new caramel decks. I mean, you can try to use the caramel decks, but the Stormy Paradox deck is still one of the best decks out there for 140. So I'm still keeping this deck. Um, it's very handy. It gives uh, six max copies for Storm, and it's just a very good, useful deck to have. So yeah, as you guys can see, some of these caramel decks only have max copies four. Um, they're a little bit less, um, as you guys can see. Some of them are still max copy six, uh, but they really haven't changed since uh, Paradox. So still using a Paradox deck. But anyways, guys, uh, that is pretty much his setup and his gear uh, for his deck. <laughs> His deck is pretty much the same. Um, I've been farming Abandoned House, so his deck is pretty small. We got some Storm Lords, some Storm Blades. Uh, we're using Squall Wyverns from the Amulet. And of course we crossed out all this uh, other useless stuff. And Treasure Cards, he uses uh, Elemental Blades. Uh, I haven't felt the need to really put any like Storm Blades or anything in here. I just use Elemental Blades. I'm used to having them. Plus, if some reason I don't have a hit and a fire wizard has a hit yeah i can blade them as well so that's why we have elemental blades they're just very useful to have as tcs so i've always keep them in in my decks
just because they're so useful to have, especially if you don't have a hit, and uh, another hitter, hitting school has one, you can just blade them. So, that's why we have that in this deck set up here. Um, I do change my deck quite often with some other spells, but that can be in a different video. Uh, since we're focusing mostly on his gear and setup for this video. So anyways guys, that has been Chris Thunderclouds, my level 140 storm gear setup. And we'll go ahead and go over all the other gear setups for my other wizards, so feel free to check those out. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.